Well, welcome to the River Tour down here in Devon. And I'm sure if you're watching this in the UK, you don't need me to tell you just how crap the spring has been from a fishing point of view. I mean, it really did look like this weekend was going to be perfect. And then Thursday, it just threw it down again. Uh, I've come out to the tour because I thought this might be the only place relatively clear, but even this is it's just like mud. I mean, the yo's totally unfishable. I'm thinking this might be unfishable too, and the visibility is about six inches. I'm starting with some upstream nymphs and a little indicator built into my furled leader. I think this could be a go home and save the tokens for another day job. I have seen a few flies come down. I saw a hawthorn and oh, <laughs> that was a root. I know there's roots just there. Um, yeah, a hawthorn and a few granum, but nothing's touched it. I mean, they're just going to be holed up somewhere, aren't they, in this? I mean, we're nearly into May now and I've, I've been out twice. And one of them, all I did was film. I think the only chance I've got of maybe catching a fish in this is to go with the streamer tactics. So I might swap over to that, give it half an hour, see what happens and then uh, make a decision from then. And I've actually hooked into a fish on the streamer. I was just sort of casting it down and across like you would with a set of wet flies. And this thing whacked it. It's not massive, but it is a fish. Oh, yeah. The streamer saves the blank again. Condition. Not the most awe inspiring way of fishing, but uh, the tug is the drug, as they say. <laughs> There's another fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was very ambitious, wasn't it, <laughs> Mr. Fish? <laughs> That's about the size of the fly. Oh, that just shows you the tiny little things that'll take a streamer, doesn't it? That's like a par. How did you even get it in your mouth? <laughs> God, this really whacked it, this fish. I'm sure there's some bloody trees in the way. Let's try and get it in. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Look up there. It's all a bit tight. I'm going to put your rod to it. Flies come out, that's good. What's that then? Oh, fair fish. That fish took casting it upstream and stripping it back. Really? Pulled into it. 
The same one recording at the time, so jump clean out the water. Oh well that's good. Just realised thinking about it this year, I, I still haven't actually seen a fish rise. Either to a dry fly of mine or a natural. Just not a one. We still feel a long way off a nice warm evening fishing here to rising trout, don't we? I've had a couple more tugs on the streamer, but I couldn't connect with them. And I managed about an hour, so that's me done with the tactic for now, I think. I don't really see this working, but I've put on a big clink hammer dry fly just, just to see if I can bring something up. The sun came out a minute ago and it actually felt a little bit warmer. I thought, surely there'd be a fish somewhere that wants to rise. So. We'll see. This pool's a, it's a bit, it's a bit shallower. It looks a tiny bit clearer. Normally over there by those roots, you can run it down there. It's a good spot to get a rise, so. I think it's worth a go. Starting to forget what a rise looked like. I think if anything does take this, and we're so shocked, I'll probably miss it. Yeah, that would have been the spot. Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> that was lucky. Just managed to flick it back out of the roots. There's a granum. There's the sunshine. Where are the trout? God. Normally that would be nailed on there. And look how much this pool has changed from last year. Let's see if I can put another before and after picture thing up. It's like built a beach up that used to be really deep up the top of there and it's just dumped a load of stones in it and that big tree has gone wow it looks completely different we've obviously been up and cleared a bit of that far bank so you could still fish it it used to be like Really overgrown tree over there, didn't you? Had to cast underneath. Again, when it finally cheers up, this will be a lovely piece of water here. Drop this a little bit. Cast right across that far bank. Yeah, let's go. Completely mood. This is... I was catching fish there last year and now it's just a few inches deep. That'll be almost dry come the summer. Wow. Well, it's not a bad spot for a bit of lunch, is it? I meant to say the last time I was out that uh, I went back and watched my first video that I did this year, just to see if I've improved the audio with the changes I've made. And uh, I think I have a little bit, but I noticed that YouTube have put a, an advert in the middle of the video. Now I understand they've got to pay for this stuff and all their servers and I don't mind having adverts at the start of it but uh, to put them in halfway through 
I thought it was a bit much. So I went on to Google to see how you would turn that off and you can't. You have to have a thousand subscribers and so many views before you can say, actually, no, I don't want adverts in the middle of my videos. Thank you very much. So I thought I'd just mention on here now that um, if I ever get to that stage in a few years time, I will definitely be turning that feature off. Uh, so you won't have adverts interrupt in the middle of the film. One of my little pet hates, I think, especially when you get two or three lots in like a half an hour video. Seems like it's forever stopping for adverts. It's worse than watching the damn telly. Of course, when I get to a million subscribers, I'll come back and take this video down and deny all knowledge. I've just seen a fish rise. First one of the year, right up there. Right. Do I cancel lunch and go for it now? I think I'm gonna wait and see if it rises again or not. Of course, it could have been something falling out of the tree, but it looked like a rise. Right, well it rose again, so I've just put, put my lunch away for a minute. I cast it it's under that tree, just down from those brambles there, I think I saw it. Oh, it's just dragging. Further up. There. Oh, yes. Whoa. Fantastic. I didn't think that was going to happen today. <laughs> well, inappropriate text in the middle of passing this fish. Oh, it's a good fish too. Don't get in those rapids. Oh no. There's the net, quick. Come on, get your head up. No, no, no. Brilliant. I thought it was going to go down that. It's that faster for a minute. Let's get out of this flow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, it's going to need two hands. That's my my no-name clink hammer. I took that straight away, didn't it? Thank you, fish. Another dry fly, finally. Nice. Right, I'm going to finish my lunch. Right, well I've been searching around trying to find another rising fish. Um, it's taken a while, but I've just seen one rise in the back of this pool here. So The only trouble is, as it all runs out the back of here, it's going to drag the fly straight away. I can't really do a, like a, a big parachute cast because there's a tree branch in the way. So, I don't really know what to do. Just have to pop it in there and see what, what if anything happens. 
drag, drag, drag it straight away. It took it dragging. <laughs> Maybe there's a little twitch in that made it have it. Ah, that was definitely a one chance hit if it had gone below me. We'd have been running. And just a standard dark olive dry fly now. The CDC wing. Because <laughs> they stopped rising now. Ah, it's tiny. Ah, after all that. Oh well, I suppose I did fool it at least. Right, well I think I'm going to say that's it then for today. I have at least caught a few on the dry fly, which is nice. Nice to actually see a fish rise, present the fly and have it take. That's what it's all about for me. The river has cleared surprisingly amount actually, while I've been here. There was that proper chocolate this morning. So, if we don't get any more rain, it could be alright next week. Yeah, I've got a, a toil day owing to me, so I might try and get back and have another go. If you watched it all the way through to here, I know I meant to tell you to yeah like and subscribe and stuff, but I expect you probably already have if you put up with it for this long. So uh, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>